Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get a free trial for Shopify. To get that deal, click the link down in the description below. There, you'll find a three-day free trial. After the trial, you'll only pay a dollar a month for the first three months, which is a deal you wouldn't get if you went straight to Shopify's website. To get started, type in your email and click start free trial. And after you do all that, you'll have to answer some questions about any experience you might have with building a website. Not to worry if you don't, you'll get the hang of it really fast. They make the process really simple for you. Now, for those of you who are already selling online or in person, you can click on this option to migrate your site to Shopify. Or if you're just getting started, you can tell them that, and then you can go ahead and click on next. Now, think about where you want your products to be sold. If you're thinking about an online store, then check this off, which will get your account set up for creating your own e-commerce website. But if you've got an existing website or blog, Shopify can help you add a buy button. And if you're looking to sell on platforms like eBay, Amazon, or Google, you should check the online marketplace options. Shopify can integrate them as well, which means you can add your store across different platforms but if you're not quite sure about all of this yet, that's okay. You can always go back and check the options out later in the Shopify dashboard. That being said, if you're running a brick and mortar store, a pop-up market or something like that, you can pick that box. And if you're planning to sync up your store with Facebook and Instagram shops or other social media channels, you're going to want to check that option off as well. From there, Shopify is going to add all the necessary integrations into your account so you can work with them. So whatever your choices are, you can go ahead and hit that next button again. Now consider the products you plan to offer. You've got a few choices here. They could be products you personally buy or make and handle the shipping yourself, or they could be dropship products, print on demand stuff, or digital products and services, pretty much anything. If you're not quite sure what you want to sell, you can always go back and do some research or look through some of Shopify's app integrations, like App Scenic or AutoDS, which are both apps that you can use to find products that your store can sell if you don't already have them. Now, I've sold products that I've made, but recently I've begun drop shipping. Now, if you're curious about drop shipping and want to learn a little more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There are new videos on drop shipping coming out all the time that might be helpful. But moving on, we're going to click next on this screen, then pick the country where you're selling your products from. Now, if this is your first time, you should just pick your country from this list. But if you already have a store set up, you're going to want to pick the country that you have your store located in. After that, you can move on to the next screen, which is prompting you to make your own Shopify account. Now, I've already gone ahead with this by entering my email and making a password, so I'm going to click on Create Shopify Account. After that, the site will generate your new account, and then you'll see the Shopify dashboard. Now, from here, you can click on Select a Plan. Based on the data you already have, Shopify will suggest a plan to fit your specific needs. For example, if you're doing direct face-to-face -face sales, then the retail plan might work for you, which has a point of sale option. But if you're just starting a new e-commerce store, I suggest going for the basic plan as it covers all the essentials for starting and expanding online store. Now, in my case, I'm going for the basic plan. Once I make that choice and naturally whichever you decide as well, you're going to find yourself on this page where you have to plug in your payment information. Now you have the option to choose when you want to be billed. It can be annually or monthly. Of course, the payment is going to change depending on which option you choose. Once you add your payment information, the only thing left for you to do is subscribe. And just like that, it's going to take you back to the Shopify dashboard. From here on out, you can start using Shopify. You can make custom themes and start building your site to fit your aesthetic. You can check out what's available on the dashboard. Now, this was just a very short taste of the basics and how to get that free trial. If you want a more in-depth tutorial for Shopify, then I'll be linking a really fantastic tutorial video down in the description as well that'll take you through the process of building your store from A to Z. And that's going to be it for today. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.
And don't forget to use the link down in the description to get that free trial that I mentioned, which you wouldn't get if you went right to Shopify's website. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.